Measuring and recording blood pressure. This skill monitors the contraction and relaxation of the heart. It allows the medical provider to assess how well the heart is working and for accurate and prompt treatment, including change in diet, increased activity, and medication. If not performed correctly, it puts the patient at increased risk for stroke, heart attack, heart and or kidney failure, and even death. You will have two to three minutes to complete this skill. You will need one blood pressure cuff, a stethoscope, and alcohol wipes. Hello there, Ms. Kanisha. I was checking your wristband. I'm Nicole. I'm going to be your caregiver today. I'm just going to check your blood pressure. Is that okay? Okay. So, raising the, head, raising the bed again is optional, just according to your comfort as a caregiver. So, I'm going to bring it up just a little bit. So, it'll be easy to reach you. And I'm going to put the head of your bed up just a little bit as well. Make sure, make sure it doesn't hit the table. Okay. Just tiny bit. Okay, and there's no privacy on vital signs again, um, unless your patient requests it. So the supplies you're going to need is a blood pressure cuff. You're going to need a teaching stethoscope, so you and your proctor both can listen. Um, it has two earpieces. And then you're also going to need some alcohol wipes for sanitary reasons. Okay, so I'm going to be right back. I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands. Um, so we're going to wash my hands. We simulate the state. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Just going to explain the equipment. So we have the blood pressure cuff. I'm going to sit that down so I can show you this what I'm going to do. Generally, you don't want to sit things all over your patient's bed. But so we, um, we have the whole numbers and then we have the smaller numbers. With increments of two. So we have 60, 62, 64, 66, 68. And then there's a bold line between that'll be 70. And then 72, 74, 76, 78, and 80, and so forth. So there will be any odd numbers on the manual. Um, when we do this for state, we need to only pump up um, the needle between 160 and 180. Then after you get to that point, then you let the air out and the needle goes down. Um, the first number that you hear will be the top number, and you also see the needle jumping. And as soon as you hear the sound, that's the top number of the blood pressure, which is called the systolic. And then as it keeps going down, the number gets more and more quiet. And then you don't hear anything. And right when you don't hear anything, where the needle lands, that's your bottom number, and that's called the diastolic. And so blood pressure is written as a fraction, so you have the top number and the bottom number. The normal range is between um, 119 over 79 and 130, um, 39 over 89. But of course, that is um, pre-hypertension once you get to 139 over 89. And again, for these, you only have whole numbers, um, even numbers. And when you use the manual, then you'll have odd numbers. I mean, the electronic ones, okay? So we have that one, and now we have also, we have the bulb, and this is how you control it. Um, so if you take it and you roll it back towards you until it's just a little bit snug, and then you pump up, and that's how you get the needle to go up. And then once it gets between 160 and 180, you go ahead and let the air out slowly, and then the needle will start to jump. And so also with the cuff, the cuff comes in various different sizes. We have pediatric cuffs, and we have the regular size for what this one is, and then we have a larger adult cuff for people who have larger arms. And what it will have is it'll have the artery, the left artery and the right artery, and we're going to be doing Kanisha's right arm, so we're going to make sure that the right artery arrow is just above where we find the pulse. That's where we want to place it, make it nice and snug but not too tight. So we're going to go ahead and put this on Kanisha's arm. Go ahead and wrap it around. You want it snug, just not tourniquet tight. We're going to make sure that arrow is right above the pulse. Go ahead and rest your arm down for me. And then, so you're going to need three alcohol wipes. You're going to need um, one to clean your earpiece, one to clean your proctor's earpiece, and one to clean the bell of the, of the blood pressure, of the stethoscope. So as a courtesy, you can wash your proctor's earpiece first. wash your own earpiece you don't want to put it in your ear until you're actually ready to start checking things out because if it if it smacks against something if the bell smacks against something it will hurt okay. always clean your stethoscope between patients you don't want to um, have cross-contamination just in case 
So now we do the tap test. This is where you make sure that the, the, the bell is turned the right direction. Make sure it's open and not closed. So we turn and you don't hear anything. And then you turn it again. You hear a click and you're tapping your hearing. Did you hear that? Yes, I did. Okay. Okay, so now we're open. So you want to use the, the peace sign. You don't want to put your thumb over the, the bell because you'll hear all the squishing noise. And equally so, exactly where you felt the pulse is where you want the bell to sit flat against the skin. You don't want to put the bell under the cuff because these are really sensitive and you'll hear all the squeaking noises. Okay, so I'm going to ask my patient, Miss Kanisha, if you can hold this the bell, please. I mean the gauge, so the proctor and I can both see it. Just kind of. Okay, can you see that? Yes, I can. Okay. I'm going to hold it down. You want to control the bulb with your with your dominant hand. So I'm going to go ahead. If you just relax, Miss Kanisha, relax your hand. Make sure the hand is open and facing up. We're going to pump up between 160 and 180. Then we let the air out slowly. So I got 110 over 62. What did you get? I got 110 over 62. Okay, that's great. So we can be off by um, by eight total. Um, four on the top and four on the bottom. And we were right on point actually. And Kanisha is pretty petite, she's very young. Her body is pretty healthy, so she has a very nice and healthy blood pressure, which is great. Okay, thank you, Miss Kanisha. So your blood pressure was 110 over 62. I'm gonna go ahead and all my supplies back up and grab my trash. I'm gonna put your bed back down to the lowest position. Would you like the head of your bed to stay up or go down? Yeah. Okay, so move the head of your bed up. Okay, give me a call light. Thank you, call light. I'm going to is there anything I can do for you before I leave? Yeah. Okay, you have a great day. I'm gonna go ahead and put my trash in the garbage. I'm going to wash my hands and document 110 over 62. Um, the scale is complete.